Hello everybody, and welcome back to more Fire Emblem 6 The Binding Blade Blind-ish. Except at this point, I think we are basically going in blind, because... Well, last time we beat the, ch the chapter that made me rage quit my initial playthrough, and then we got to another chapter that... also is a huge pain in the butt. Uh, Lelina died unexpectedly at the end of last stream because a mercenary teleported right next to her and then moved immediately and could one-round her because, of course, they gave him good enough stats and good enough equipment to do so. Now, I will say, looking back at the footage, the mercenary in question who killed Lelina was supposed to spawn in the back of the castle as the boss basically said, hey, sp start spawning behind the castle. But because I had a cluster of units there, I thought if I put a cluster of units there, they ju I would just block their spawn point and they wouldn't be able to spawn in. No, that's not what happens. Apparently in Fire Emblem 6, if you block their spawn point, instead of just they don't spawn, they instead move to the, the most to an adjacent spot and then can move. Except I just had a cluster of units there, so they kept... The guy literally moved like five squares from just because there were all these adjacent units that he couldn't go through. And then he moved to the closest point, which happened to be in the middle of my troops, which was where Lelina was. So, super annoying. Still think it's terrible design for ambush spawns, but I have calmed down since then. And off screen, I have played back up to the point where we died last time. So we're continuing chapter 11. As you can see, Lelina is alive again. Yay! Also, we got the village, we got geese again, we got Bart Ray. Oh yeah, he's here. And everybody is, uh, is in one piece. I've even saved both of these uh, green unit fighters. These guys are still alive. I haven't sent anyone after them. And I've also gotten some pretty good level ups uh, on my repeat. of uh, Thaney got strength again, which is awesome. And Tate, I think, also got strength. I think. I'm not sure, actually. But I got some good level ups. Also, um, Rutger is now capped at skill and speed, so I will be promoting him at the next earliest opportunity. And Deke is also doing great. He's a high level. I'm going to have Deke uh, finish off the bus at this point. Hi, Proxima! Welcome, welcome! Thank you. I I will need luck! As a matter of fact, I will need luck with this game. <laughs> is everybody's combat animations on that I care about? Yes. Hi, Marty! Yes, Bart Ray is in this game, and I don't know what happened to him, but now he has a mustache, and he's a dad. So, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> He looks so weird in this with a mustache. But he's wearing the same shirt, just dirty. He has the same hairdo. Just has... <laughs> and he's a brave axe. He also has 22 strength, which is just nuts. <laughs> it's Bart Ray! <laughs> yeah, I, and we also have Bart Ray's daughter in, on our team as well. Uh, Fur, but we're not using her. Anyways, we're about to clear out this chapter. Deke... I think you can one round the boss with the Armor Slayer. Oh yeah, that should be easy. Just take him out. What are you doing? Hurry off and kill the ones who escaped! Who, who are you people? My name is Deke, and you going down. Take that. The resistance forces in this area have been eliminated. Who are you people? We're Star Fox. Level up for Deke. Wow, Deke, come on. <laughs> Alright, and then we've got a bunch of guys over here. Oh, 1 HP on that guy. If only my Pegasus Knights were closer. Alright, Gonzalez. Let's see how you fare against this guy. Gonzalez has been hitting those 60% chances pretty reliably as well. I'm very impressed with him. Okay, you got 2 HP. Oh, this is perfect fodder for Tate. I don't like that 4% critical hit chance, actually. Okay, that's better. Yeah, that's the other thing. I brought uh, Tate and Thaney on this level this time around. Uh, I did not bring Barf, because... As much as I want to use Barf, my gosh! The fact that he has only has 4 movement really is a pain in the butt. Oh, if only I had a bow. Does anybody have a... A client has a bow. You've got some bows. What's Bart Ray's bow rank? D. Okay. That's a C, A. Okay, he can use the iron bow. Okay, um... Sure. He 
here. Let's see how Bart Ray fares against these guys. Okay, well, he does good damage. Oh, that guy's a Lance Reaver. Good to know. All right, nice shot, Bart Ray. Uh, let's see, you've got seven movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. So even if I dance for Thaney, she can't do anything else. All right. We'll, we'll scene for Lot. Oh, actually, Lot can go here and can attack that guy with even with Weapon Triangle Advantage. That's a low hit rate, though. Hmm. Okay, Lance. Okay, Lance, you're real close to leveling up. Ruker, I don't really want to give Ruker more level ups if he doesn't need them. I'll put Roy in range of the Lance Reaver guy. And only the Lance Reaver guy. This guy doesn't have... Okay, he has 11 crit. He won't have any crit on Bart Ray. He will have some crit on Deke, though. He has 17 attack and Deke has 8 defense. So he'll take 9. Okay, he'll actually eat a critical hit, and there ain't no way he'll be doubling Deke. And only one... Well, actually two... Mm. Ideally, I want to keep these stupid resistance fighters alive. Alright. I don't want to give Rutger more KOs because he, he's ready to promote, but I don't want any of my guys to die. <laughs> Alright. You've got an Armor Slayer, you have a Steel Sword, you have a Lance Reaver. Okay. Use your sword. You're accurate, and this way you won't have Weapon Triangle Disadvantage. All right, level up for Lance. He's also getting ready to promote. Nice defense and res. That's good. And, of course, speed is also great. If if Lance caps his speed, I will promote him early. But I think at this point I may as well go all the way. Oh, hey, and now Trek can take on that guy. Nice job, Trek. Yeah, I wanted to use Barf, but, I mean, he, he's just such a liability. And he, can't, he doesn't do anything. Doggone it. Trek has been getting a lot of either just HP level ups or HP and luck level ups, which is not what I'm looking for. Alright, Chlorine, you can keep healing up these green unit fighters. I'm... I am worried more reinforcements will spawn. Which will suck if they do. Because that's the other thing. In any other Fire Emblem game... Once the boss is dead, reinforcements stop. Not so in this one. It's highly annoying. Okay, no more reinforcements. That's good. I'm actually quite glad that Lance is not going to one around that guy. I can give the KO to somebody more deserving. I mean, nobody's more deserving than you, Lance, of course, but... At the, on, on the same time? Okay. Okay, I'm like, if the green unit got the KO, that would be stupid. Alright, you got that Steel Sword. Who could get a quick level up? He only has 6 crit, okay. Oh man, Tate, that is a low luck stat, and I don't like it. Let's see, you've got... Oh, 18 attack power. I hate having units that have really low luck, because you might think it's like, oh, it's only like a 5% chance to crit. That's still not inconsequential. Actually, I think he'll attack Bart Ray if I do that. <laughs> Which, you know, I can live with that. Let's keep building the Thaney Deke support. That sounds good. Glad you're not playing. Yeah! Here's the thing about Fire Emblem 6. When it's not being complete bullcrap with its, like, reinforcement spawns, I actually like it. Like, training up the units is fun. But man, when the when the map just says, hey, you lose, and it's not your fault, it's just the map was terribly designed, neener, neener. It's, that's not fun. Alright. I am very glad I have a bard now. Bards are super useful. Who needs another heal? Who wants to rub Dracula's feet? Deke could use a little bit of a heal. There you go, Deke. Alright. 
If my calculations are correct, that guy should attack Bart Ray. Yep. Oh no! Not Bart Ray. Okay, that guy only has 7 HP. Surely Tate can finish him off. No! No! Crap, I forgot they can move through green units. Well, I guess Registrins is the one who gets the KO. Can Bart Ray talk, talk with him? He cannot. Well, shoot. Guess there's nothing to do but top off our units and build up those support points. Oh yeah, Lance, you need to build up support points of Roy. Elfin, I'm not sure who the heck you can support. Lot has an A support with Ward, and that's it. <laughs> I wonder if Bart Ray can support Ellen. That would be kind of funny. I don't think they will, though. Oh yeah, those guys are still alive. I could have Gonzalez go over there and try to take him out, but I'm not risking that. No, sir. This just means it's going to take a while to build up the supports because we have to watch the enemy phase and other phase over and over again. That's okay, the things I do. I want to see them supports, and the supports do genuinely help. I just wish that the GBA games had the support systems of the newer games, where instead of like, oh, stand next to each other for 100 turns in a row, it's like, oh, you fought next to each other, you built support points. If you do that like eight times, you'll get a support. It's much more reasonable. Alright, well, I'm getting tired of waiting, so let's conquer the throne. Even though we've captured Castle Idina and released the people here, it doesn't mean we've rescued all the people living on these isles. Right. To fully liberate the Western Isles, we must get rid of the Etrurian capital. So we must head for Juto. Elfin, may I ask you something? What is it, Master Roy? Correct me if I'm wrong, but are you not someone of high Etrurian nobility? What makes you think that? Well, I can't really explain it, but... For example, the way you talk sounds very educated. In Ostia, I learned how to study people and make estimates about them. Anyway, am I right? What would you do if you think it, if I were what you think I am? What? No, I wouldn't do anything in particular. You must have some reason to hide your identity. You can tell me when you feel comfortable about it. Okay? Then let's go to Judo. To save these isles and defeat our true enemy. Hey, you with the mustache! What? Who are you? Here, give this to General Roy. Thanks to him, we can see our families again. We the people of the Western Isles never forget when people help us. Make sure you say thanks for us. And then we all express our gratitude from the bottom of our hearts. Energy Rain! Oh man, I can give that to Thaney. It boosts her strength. That'll be great. Chapter 12, The Real Enemy. Oh, uh, thank goodness, we've just been fighting fake enemies up till now. No, this is time. It's the real and true enemy. To rescue the people of the Western Isles, Roy headed for Juto, the Isles' largest city and its capital. According to Elfin, Lord Arcard, who was in charge of supervising the Western Isles, was an Aturian of high nobility, but not of high importance to the Aturian government. Roy was still worried about Aturia's response to his attacking the capital. But to rescue the people, he had to get rid of Arcard as soon as possible. Ooh, that's awesome, Proxima! Nice! <laughs> yeah, Ocarina of Time Randomizer is so much fun. One of my favorites. Oh, okay! We got a Paladin on a throne. There's something you don't see every day. Generally, when you go up against boss Paladins, uh, they move around. So here... Oh, our card! Okay, cool. Level 10. That's a pretty high level. A Trian Noble, former, formerly in charge of the Mining Corporation on the Western Isles. All right! Wow! 34 attack points. Dang! That guy's stacked! He's... Oh, he's scary. And he's on a throne, too. Yeeks! Okay, and you've got a men's staff. You've got a physic and sleep! I don't like that. 
Okay. They won't be able to sleep us till we get close to the throne room, but that's still annoying. Status staves are not much fun. That guy's a steel axe, steel lance. We're getting a lot of these. Oh, you've got a longbow. Gotta watch out for that. Steel axe, hand axe, steel axe, steel axe, steel axe, hand axe, hand axe. Okay. Well, thankfully, you're not a berserker. That berserker on the last chapter was frightening to get through. Ray? You're not just a generic shaman. Oh my gosh, you are Nino's other twin son. And you're a shaman. A young shaman traveling to perfect the dark arts. We're getting a shaman at last! Shamans are some of my favorite units. Oh, Dane. Does this mean we're going to have to bring Lou to recruit him? That would make sense. But Lou's a level one mage. He's going to die if someone breathes on him. Oof. Wow, those are... Well, 12 magic is nice. Nine speed is a bit low. Four con. Four con? You're a dark magic user! Are you nuts? Oh. Okay, well, thankfully. Okay. I guess for some reason in Fire Emblem 7, they massively increased the weight of all of the dark tomes. I don't know why. In, in Fire Emblem 7, Nosferatu weighs like 15 or something, and it only weighs 6 minutes. That's still heavy, but. Okay. Okay. He looks so smug. Oh, but I'm interested. I definitely want to get him on my team. Steel Bow, Flux, Steel Bow, Flux. Steel Ants. <laughs> oh no, not the Eclipse! Wait. <laughs> Ten hit? Ten hit? <laughs> and I thought Eclipse was bad in Fire Emblem 7. Oh wait. Oh, actually it functions. It reduces HP to one. Oh, that's actually different. In Fire Emblem 7, Eclipse is still super inaccurate, but at least it has like 40 hit. And instead, it just cuts your HP in half. Okay, well, least scary enemy of all. Oh no, we have to divide up our units. Oh no, we got a sleep staff. Yuck! Hey, Xavier, welcome, welcome. <laughs> he has 21 hit just by himself. That's not even taking into account people's speed and luck, which will factor into their avoid. He's gonna have a 0% hit on, like, all everybody. Wow. Oh, Scary Sniper! Oh, Scary Sniper! Silver Bow. Okay. Killer Axe! See, this is why you check enemies' equipments. Not for ways to take you by surprise. We also need to bring a thief. Okay! This level's not messing around. Alright. Well, taking our usual... We definitely need a thief, though. I've been bringing Astol... <gasps> Wait! Wait! Chad, Lou, and... Lou's brother, uh, what's his name? Ray. They mentioned Ray. Chad mentioned Ray and, like, the orphanage. If I bring Chad, can I recruit Ray with Chad? Because that would be great. Because Chad is still a thief. I mean, he'll also probably die if someone breathes on him, but at least I can use him to loot the treasure. Okay. I'll have to bring, put someone on the bench. Oh, uh, who to put on the bench? I kind of like Klein, to be honest. Uh, I probably shouldn't use Thaney and Tate, but they're both good. Okay, well, okay. Before we decide that, first things first. We're promoting Rutger. He has capped speed. Um. Can I... Oh, that's right. You can't use items from the item menu of the preparation screen, which is really dumb. My gosh, Lot's level 15, and his stats are not particularly good. I don't know if I want to keep using him, honestly. Oh man, okay. Lance, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna give you your Knight's Crest. You're gonna need it pretty soon. All right. We also have another Angelic Rope, a Secret Book, a Dragon Shield, and an Energy Rain. Lou and Chad can both recruit. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, well I'm bringing Chad. I just need to figure out who to dump. Keeping Ellen. I mean, two healers are very nice, especially if I have to split my task force in two. Um, I won't bring Klein. I like Klein, but we're not going to bring him this time. All right, just take Astol's equipment back. You'll be good. Sell that red gem. <laughs> Even if the Eclipse hits him, he still has 1 HP, though. So, we're we good. Ooh! Also, 
This looks like a time for the unlock staff. And we also should get... Oh, restore staff. Yes, restore staff will be useful for those sleeps. Alright. I'm gonna... No, Ellen's not gonna be able to promote on this chapter. Okay, who needs the secret book and who needs the dragon shield? So... I'm not gonna use it on a lot. Oh, S Trek could use the secret book. So could Gonzalez. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be using Gonzalez long term. Also, who gets the dragon shield and who gets the uh, angelic robe? I could give the second angelic robe also. No, I'm going to hold on to the angelic robe. But you never know who we get in the future. Dragon shield, though. I think I might give... Hmm. Trek is starved. The okay, Trek is definitely going to get the secret book. I'm also debating giving him the dragon shield as well. Because here's the thing. Trek already has a lot of defense, but if he had a couple more points of defense, he'd be borderline invincible. So that is tempting. That's pretty tempting. I This is my problem. I, hor I hold on to my promotional items as well as my uh, stat boosting items for too long. Oh, I oh, wait, no, shoot, I have to bring Elfin, too. And Elf, wait, how many angelic robes do I have? Wait, do I have two angelic robes? Wait, do I have two in do I have two angelic robes? No, I only have one. Elfin, did I get the pun? I mean... Is it like a play on Elf? Shoot, I forgot about Elfin. I want to bring him too. Do I have two? And I kind of want to bring Bart Ray. Elfin as an Elf. He's based on an Elf. He he does look, he does have that kind of Legolas look about him. Darn it! There's too many units to bring. Okay. Um. Mm. Sorry, Tate. I'd rather have Elfin for this chapter. It's nothing personal, but that's just how we—that's just how it be sometimes. Okay, energy rain as well. I want to give the the dragon shield to somebody who goes on the front lines frequently. So Lance is another great choice for that. Deke is another good choice for that. Hmm. I guess Thaney could also be. Well, nah, probably not Thaney. Gonna give Trek the Dragon Shield for the time being? And I'll hold on to the Energy Ring and the Angelic Robe. Gonzalez, can you wield the Brave Axe? Hmm. He already has a hammer. I'll give him the Halberd. Why not? Gonzalez, can you wield the Brave Axe? No, you cannot. Not even close. I spend too long on the preparation screen, I'm sure, but I just gotta prepare, you know? Wait, when did I get a light brand? I also have the Worm Slayer. <laughs> Worm Slayer's a crappy weapon, but I'll take it. Why not? Alright. Alright, that's enough stalling. Now we actually do our formation. We're making sure we... Okay. I want a cav on each side, and I want a healer on each side, so... Lance, you can go over here. I do not like the idea of having Elfin and Chad both on that side. Maybe I should have bought a chest key last chapter. Whoops. Oh, well. Don't worry. That guy has a clip, so we can just stay away from him. That should be good. That should be good. Alright. Here we go. Half hour in and we're finally starting the chapter. <laughs> chapter 12. The Real Enemy. Oh, hey. G G G General Flair! 
Oh, Lord Arkhard, why do you fret so? It is the Lysia Alliance Army! They are approaching here to take my head! Well, you have been a pretty big butt. Oh, them. They are somewhat of a nuisance to us of Burn. We figured it would be get difficult if they became friendly with Etruria. This guy looks like a younger version of a guy who used to go to my, uh, my old church. So we had you send them there. Well, they fight better than I would have expected. What are you saying? Do you know how much I have lost because of them? All of the riches that I've earned from these islands? N no! Before that, my life! My life is in danger! If they reach here, I'm done for! What must I do? If you are that worried, you should leave this capital and escape back to Etruria. I don't know, Arkhard is a pretty stacked boss. He should stay. Are you sure? Warfare is what Burn is best at. And besides, we have our secret weapon at hand. We shall kill off the Elysi Alliance army once and for all. But... Lord Arkhard, if Burn and Etruria join forces, we shall have nothing on this continent to fear. Isn't that so? Yes. Yes! You're right. Then I shall ask for your assistance. Oh, he's the boss now. Hmph, <laughs> the weakness of those Etrurian nobles. But if we can get rid of the Alliance here, these isles shall be ours forever. This is the capital. Once we take it down, we can go home. I have sent someone in already to unlock the gate. Oh, there she is. Wait! I... It's... It's her! I've seen her before! The one over there, dressed like a dancer? Yes. Your Majesty! Over here! I got her on my team, on my first playthrough! I... I knew it! On my first playthrough, I got a dancer, but this time I didn't. I don't... I'm so confused. But I remember her, because she kept dying on the chapter that I got her in. Because, like, again, if someone breathes on her, she dies. And there were a bunch of flying units. Your Majesty? I know not of what she speaks of. Your Majesty! You're late! Lalum, who is Your Majesty? Oh! Ah, eh... You know, you look so much like a prince, so I gave you a nickname! Oh, brother. Sure. Okay, so... So this guy's a prince. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's cool, Bran. I won't tell anybody. <laughs> My apologies, Master Roy. This is Lalum, a member of the Resistance. You're Roy? Do I get a dancer and a bard? I hope so. Then we can bard train. Everyone on these islands has heard of you. They call you the Savior from the East. Nice to meet you. I'm Lalum. Whoa! Please leave a little distance. Roy, your face is all red! How cute! Um, have you heard of personal space, Lalum? Lalum? Oh, right! I've been hearing strange rumors. The people here say that a human not human resides in this castle. A uh, what? Is that another mistranslation, or are you just being weird? A human not human? Okay, if it's a mistranslation, they mistranslated it twice. Yes! They say he changes form into a creature nobody has ever seen before. Say, it looked like one of the legendary dragons. A human? Turning into a dragon? Uh, can we recruit them? Because mana keeps be overpowered. I don't know, but maybe... We must proceed with caution. Well, it's a good thing I brought the Worm Slayer in. Okay. Oh, we don't get Lalum. But I wanted a dancer and a bard. Also, this guy has a killer axe. So what we gonna do? <laughs> oh, you know what we gonna do. We're gonna draw out his hand axe with Gonzalez. Make sure everybody else is out of range. And then we can take him out. Normally, human, not human is written as an unhuman. It's just hard to translate otherwise. Okay. Alright, good to know. Okay, first fiends first. Rooker promotion! Oh, he's gonna be good! Oh, yes. We finally got a promoted unit. Level 1 Swordmaster. Ooh, those are some nice gains. 13 strength, 22 skill, 21 speed. His luck and res are still low, but he's got 12 defense. Wow, his critical hit rate just jumped. 41 crit, and he's not even in range of either of his supports. <laughs> He's turned into a master of the blade. Hey, Rooker's gonna be epic. So is Trek. Trek is well on Trek to becoming a great paladin. I just need another Knight's Crest. That's all.
Okay, uh, Roy. Will you kill this? Oh, yes, Roy will just barely kill this guy. <laughs> Trek is our star. Star Trek. That, uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Star Trek. I love it. Wait, Roy? I thought you killed. I thought I did the math. I thought you just... Wait. Oh, I'm so stupid. He only has 15 attack and that guy... Never mind. I thought he exactly killed. He doesn't. That's okay, Lot can clean up the, the dirty work. Alright, Lot, let's let's see some gains. Alright, well at least you got defense there, buddy. I was told you had the highest defense growth in the game, and you haven't leveled it all that much. I expected a little I didn't expect him to do that much, but I mean the fighter only had free defense, so I expected him to do a little bit. Okay, you're gonna put people to sleep, but I gotta restore staff, so it should be okay, as long as you don't put Clarine to sleep. Already? Oh, there you are, Ein. I heard you called. Oh, that guy looks creepy! <laughs> I will go over and report about the VC Alliance Army to General Narshan. I want you to defend this castle while I am away. Understood. Hmm? Who's there? Just the wind. It's never just the wind. Name one time in, in the history of fiction where someone's like, I heard something. Oh, wait, no. No, it's it actually was just the wind. Well, then I shall be going. I leave the rest to you. Understood. Haha, <laughs> the Lisi Alliance won't stand a chance against this dragon. Uh, what? They won't even be able to scratch it with normal weapons. These mamcutes. Mamcutes? You mean manakeets? They certainly are terrible beasts. Wait. So that's what the human not human is. So, is it true that Burn has brought back the dragons into this world? So what can I do now? I guess I'll act like one of the soldiers and observe the dragon's power. Um, do I have to fight a manakeet? No, manakeets are OP and they're on my side! You can't expect me to fight a manakeet! What? I'm so screwed if I have to fight a manakeet. They're the most overpowered units in Fire Emblem. <laughs> oh no! Not Eclipse! Oh wow. They slowed down the animation. Or I guess they sped it up in Fire Emblem 7. Oh, they're gonna put Chad to sleep. How dare you? He's he's a he's a total Chad. This is why I brought a restore staff. Okay, well, first things first. Can Lance one round this guy? He yes, he can. This is why I gave Lance a steel sword. Because Lance needs a little bit of help in the strength department. Nice one, Lance. Good job. Chad is a fake Chad. How dare you! Okay, uh, Gonzalez, go for the hammer. That sounds like a good plan. I mean, I'm pretty sure Thaney won't even be able to scratch that guy, but eh. Might as well take her up, anyways. Alright. Now for this side. Molina, can you kill this guy with an elf? Ooh, yes you can! Nice one! Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> an elf fire broke! That's okay. I'll have to live with the disappointment. Alright, Shrek. You got a javelin. Let's see you use it! <laughs> Oh, that's a good point. Yes, you should never brag about your own Chadness. Other people need to call you Chad. That's a very, very good point. He didn't name himself Chad, though. That's the name his parents gave him. Or, wait, he's an orphan. That's the name that the orphanage owner gave him. 
Okay, I kind of want to see Rutger in action, but also I realize that would kind of be a waste because he is now promoted. And thus gets way too many, e too much EXP. Or way too much, he gets way too little EXP, I mean. I know how to talk. <laughs> what, did, what name do you want, kid? I like the name Chad. Okay, you can deal 20 damage. It's not enough to kill Roy. We'll just use our handy dandy notebook. I mean, rapier. And you only have a steel one. Good. Good. Let's have Elena use thunder. Roy is doing more damage to a knight than he dealt... Er, no, the same amount of damage to a knight that he dealt to a regular old fighter. Nice one, Roy! See, he can one round. With effective damage. Alright, Gonzalez, hit that 62. Oh! Right in the face! Gonzalez smash! I am worried about that sniper, though. Oh no, not the Eclipse! Okay, putting Thaney to sleep is a little harder to do, but also a bit more annoying. Should it actually hit? Nah. I, I've always wondered why the status spells have, like, the most calming music that plays during them. Okay, they only have one more use of that staff left, bro. Alright, Lance. I actually don't really want Lance to one around the guy. Okay, here's what we do. Here's what we do. Gonzalez smash. Come on, Gonzalez smash! Yes, there we go. Alright, Gonzalez, let's see what you get. Alright, he gets strength. It's hard to argue with a strength level up. Alright, Thaney, how can you fare up against this guy? Ooh! Not bad, and worst case scenario, she ain't gonna die. And Lance can always swoop in and save her. Oh, but she dodges it. I will say, Thaney has so much speed that it doesn't even matter if she's at Weapon Triangle Disadvantage. She still hits and dodges. Okay, I'll give you that one, Thaney. That's nice. That's nice going. That's an only okay level up, though. But at least you got free Thanes, I suppose. That has 100. Why do the walls have so much doggone HP in this game? I do not get. How much damage do you deal to this guy? Okay. Well, you can take two hits from him, but... I think maybe we need to go to plan B. Okay. Chad, unlock the door. You can start looting the treasure. You're gonna do great. Now you can start... Ah, uh, we'll heal Fanny third first. Cool. Alright, I did not bring a door key. Not sure if I have one. Alright, we're gonna have to bring Clarine over to this. I should have had the unlock staff be on the opposite end of the thief. So that was my bad. I was a big dumb for doing that. I also need to make sure I keep out of the way of Ray. Let's see. Uh-oh. That's oh no, I have Elfin. It's fine. I'm not sure if Ray's gonna attack Chad if he gets within his range, but I wouldn't put it past him. Uh, yeah, yeah, this game is pretty doggone inconvenient. Oh no! Shamans. Trek's one true weakness. Okay, I just need to make sure I'm not in range of both shamans. And ideally not both archers either. Well, that's not happening. Okay. I'm gonna put Trek right here. Oh, and I should give him the secret book. There we go. Steel bow, youch! I I need to be super careful of Lelina, man. She's died. Right now, Lelina and Roy are the two units where it's like if they die, I have to reset. I guess I don't have to reset for Lelina, but I'm going to reset for Lelina. I'm getting them to happily ever after. 
I have treasures to steal. I mean, there are treasure chests that I will definitely grab. No, no worries about that. Nice one, Trek. I checked the enemy's equipment and, like, one guy had a vulnerary, but beyond that... Oh, sweet! He doesn't even get hit by the shaman. Yes, please keep trying to use Eclipse on Elfin. Oh, you trying to put my Chad to sleep? That's not a nice... That's not a very nice thing to do, Rabbit! <laughs> Alright, well, we'll go to that side later. How does Lelina fare against the Shaman? Oh, she got good res. That's nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right in the face. Right in the face. One of the chests is really good. Ooh. I can't wait. Wow! Oh my gosh! Trek got res! He's a mage killer now. Okay, well... Gotta bring Chad back. Lance Reaver? Okay, that's good. I like Reaver weapons. Gonzalez, do you get doubled by him? No. You don't. You can take an attack. And can... Okay, cool. So if I put him here, there's no way Gonzalez dies. No way. Probably no way that he hits either, but... <laughs> Probably maybe should have given the secret book to Gonzalez. But you know what? It's okay. We learned a valuable lesson. Which is, I am bad at Fire Emblem. Oh, I guarantee you tons of reinforcements are coming from that staircase up there. Guarantee it. And now comes the part of the show. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry. <laughs> Today, we learn that Thaney cannot go near that wall. It just ain't happening. Okay, let's move Roy within support range. Oh! Ooh, 15%. Ooh, 20%. This is chapter 12. Chapter 12, yeah. Okay, um, hmm. Oh, shoot. You got a flux and you've got. Okay, okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. I was. Hmm. Part of me, I was like, I'm gonna dance for Lelina so she can move again. No, I'm not doing that, because if I do that, Elfin gonna get killed. Yeah, Elfin will get killed if I do that. Which, I don't want Elfin to die. He's such a nice guy. I don't like... Th I'm noticing a trend with Fire Emblem Six courses. All of the ones that involve fortresses, it's like, it's a really long, winding hallway that's very linear. It's like, there are other ways of designing castle maps. Ellen, you've got... Yeah, Ellen is invincible. So, we can bring her up and heal. Don't even worry about it. Oh, you've got a longbow. Because of course you do. Can't touch this. Oh, also, I really need to look at that boss. Keep forgetting. Am I actually going up against a manikeet? <laughs> Oh, you're attacking Roy. You can't attack our boy. That's just a jerk butt thing to do. Wow. <laughs> well, I thought they're going for Roy over the healer. Who? Actually, that makes perfect sense. I don't think they can damage the healer. Yeah, they're going for Roy and Deke. Who in their right line would go for them over the healer? Unless you can't damage the healer. Yes. <laughs> Keep it up, man. I think... He, does he have one more? Or is he used up his Eclipse at this point? He has one more chance. He has one more chance. Okay. Guessing reinforcements will come from down here. Maybe from around here as well. 
If they come from up here, that's going to take a very long time to get around to us. Guarantee reinforcements will come from up here, and from those staircases, and they'll probably pop up everywhere out of those staircases. Maybe from around here on the side as well, but probably not. I don't see them actually spawning in the fortress unless they have staircases, though. But this is also Fire Emblem 6, so... Alright, let's deal with this Lombo dude. Lance is a one-man army. Such a deke move, I know, isn't it? Okay, Ein. A mysterious figure sent in from Burn. Oh, he has a flamestone! Transforms Mamcute into a fire dragon. Okay, is this supposed to be a Manakeet? If, if this is, then what the heck is wrong with this translation? Can't even get that right. 32 attack! Don't like that. Yuck! Okay, yep, he's a Manakeet! This is gonna be tough. Oh, I'm actually kind of really terrified of that boss. Mmm, boy. But, like, there were other English game Fire Emblem games at the time that used the word Manakeet. It's not hard to be like, oh, they clearly mean Manakeet. Let's give them the name Manakeet. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm just gonna say Manakeet from now on, because that's what they are. I literally googled translation patch. This was by far this was the top rated one, this was the highest rated one, it was the first one. So I got it. And it also said it was the most recent one, too. So if this is not the most recent one, they lied. Steelers. Oh, this guy has a hand axe. We can lure him out here with a uh, lot. Almost said ward. No, we ain't, we ain't using ward anymore. Level up for Elfin! Level up for Elf on the Elephant. Alright, get a crit? Ah, yes, get a crit! I love Thunder. All right, Lelina, can you get more speed? Please, sweetie. Thank you! Oh, that's exact. That's all I need. That's all you need. Strength slash magic and speed. Oh, look at that. Look at that winning smile. She's like, I'm so happy. You should be. You, you did good. Oh, no! Oh, what have I done? Okay, no, no, no. Wait, hang on. Hang on. Okay, no, 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 we can fix this. Didn't realize I moved Deke accidentally into the range of the Silverbow Sniper, but this is okay. Because now we can rescue Ellen, and now, yes. He can shoot Deke or Trek. That's fine, they will survive, but I can't let him shoot Ellen. That's not okay. Also, uh... <laughs> uh... Gonzalez, just keep trying to hit this guy. You'll get him eventually. You'll get him eventually. <laughs> I gotta love hand axes in this game. Lorraine's kind of stuck here, but she's a tough girl. She can she can wait it out. Not the guy who I thought I was going to draw out, but all right. Yoink! Oh, wow, a lot. You're not supposed to miss. Thanks a lot. Ah, man. The translations, man, they be weird sometimes. Which is weird, because I've played quite a few translate like fan-translated games. For the most part, the fan translations are just as good as the regular ones, but this is this is an exception. This is, has a lot of mistakes in it. Brave Bow! That's pretty nice. I mean, I think my only person who can use it is Klein, but I still appreciate it. I'm also worried that if I... Hmm, again, I, I'm worried reinforcement ambush spawns are going to pop right up here and murder everybody. Mm. 
If there's an easy way to replace the patch I'm currently placing without erasing my save files with the new patch, I will. Come on, lot. There we go. Also, wait. This guy didn't move. Why did that guy not move? I am confused. Silver Bow Sniper's just like, Oh no, it's okay, bro. I I'm just chilling. I still don't trust him to not move if I move someone like, say, Lolina in range, though. So, being extra careful about that. Ow, oh, that's why. Okay. Well. Whatever. What's done is done. This is the version I'm playing. I'm in it to win it now. Whether I actually will win it or not remains to be seen, but here we go. Come on, Gonzalez. Oh, yeah, I knew you'd hit it eventually. <laughs> Just need to hit it one more time. Okay. Wait, hang on. Also, that guy has got a sleep staff, so... Gotta be... That's annoying. That guy's a sleep staff. Okay. Because I'm like, I'm gonna have, like, Lance just charge in and start luring out these axe fighters, but... I actually don't want to do that, because then he could get sleeped, and then we could get reinforcements up there. So I think... I think for the time being, we're just gonna hold back. This way we can make a tactical retreat in case the game spawns stupid enemies there. Ooh, scary steel axe. With its terrifying 21% hit rate. I'll get you eventually, Aturian hand axe fighter! Eventually! I've missed that 52 far more than I've hit it. Oh, hello, Mr. Handax. Oh! That hurt. Hmm. Okay, we're not having Gonzalez continue to do that. Alright. Here's what we gonna do. Gonna use Lolina to finish this guy off. I will say, Lolina is one heck of a powerful girl. Dang, that's an impressive damage rate. Okay. Gonna pull Trek back so we can heal him up. Oh, guys, it's time to test out. <laughs> test out. It's time to take Rootger out for a test drive now that he's uh, promoted. If we use the Wo Dao, 82% crit rate. That's nuts. Alright, Rooker, let's see what you got. Wow, you didn't even crit. And oh, wow, you, you you he still has low he has low attack power. That guy does have a decent amount of defense, but also, like, come on. I don't like the idea of Elfin being stuck here, though. Like, and again, I don't trust the game to... to well, actually, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Never mind. Elfin can move out of that guy's range on his next turn. That's good. All right, Lot. Just, you know, whenever you're ready, bro. bro. <laughs> Just get one more hit. <laughs> That's all you need. Oh, no. I got rid of his elixirs. Or I gave his elixirs to somebody else. Also, I need to talk to, um, Ray pretty soon. So I think I'll actually open up that door. I can always come back for the chests later. Alright, now that we've kind of diverted some of those axe bros, and now that, uh... Now that 
What's her name? I was about to say Priscilla. Now the Chlorine with her restore staff is close by. We can move in with Lance, and if he gets slept, well, that's an easy enough fix. I am not breaking in there, though, because I am afraid of those staircases. Oh, it's you again! All the way down here in the Isles in the West! People working to death for the nobles in their nest! Well, if that's true, this castle must be loaded with treasure! The loot wasn't earned rightfully by the nobles anyway, so I guess I'll grab it all for myself. You... you will not! Okay, so there were reinforcements that came down- well, reinforcement. And I don't think she, she's gonna hurt, uh, hurt us. Lot! My gosh, Lot has... How many times has Lot thrown his hand axe with that 52% chance to hit? He's hit only twice, and he's missed at least eight times. Bugged RNG. <laughs> Alright. Hi, Calf. Man, her stats suck. But this poses a problem. I can't kill her. And he has a full inventory. That sucks, actually. So we can't even steal our lockpick. There ain't no way she has more speed than Chad, right? No, she's, she can't take anything from us. But at the same time, I can't... As Chad, I think my only choice real here really is to just block her from entering. And here, Gonzalez, you can take the, uh, the Brave Bow. Then we can steal her lockpick. We also need to get Roy over there, because... As I, as I remember, she showed up in Castle Ostia for the second time, and I don't think I actually talked to her with Roy. So... whoops. <laughs> that happened. Come on, Rutger! You have a fort- give us a critical hit already! Rutger! You are not being very good right now. I'm gonna have to pull Deke back. What if we move Roy like that? Okay. Yes, I will bank my chances on a 98. Sheesh! <laughs> that worried me a little bit, but there we go. Wow. Great level up, Alina. That's truly stupendous. You saw a meme about Fire Emblem 7? Ooh! I love Fire Emblem memes. Ow! That's not nice. How many more... <laughs> what will be today? I think I will use Marcus. How original. Also, Penton Hawkeye. <laughs> I agree with all of that except for Marcus. I'll use Marcus for a bit on a Hector hard mode playthrough, but I don't like using him. I don't care what people say, he is not the best character in the game. Not even remotely close. But he is necessary for a hard mode run. There we go. But yeah, Pent is disgusting. <laughs> Hawkeye is really good too. Pent is top contender for one of the best units in Fire Emblem history. Alright, gotta keep out of Ray's range. I will say, I have had my mind changed about Marcus, because I used to think Marcus was just utter garbage with no redeeming features at all, and now I realize, I'm like, no, he actually is a very useful unit in his own right, but you just use him differently than you would other units. I will keep Thaney around, because I just, I need to ferry Chad over. Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do, and also keep Clarine around, so let's see. I don't know where Calf's gonna move, so I'll just keep them both around and I can hopefully do, like, a... That's all... That is also not true. <laughs> you can make an argument Pent is the best character, I think Athos is the best character. Yes, you only have Athos for one chapter, but he is, like, the, by far the most disgustingly overpowered character for that one chapter. That's what makes him the best. Actually, I'm not going to steal her lockpick, because I'm afraid if I steal her lockpick, she just runs away. And again, I do need Roy to talk to her. 
All right. Stay out of his reach. Roy, you can move there. Lolina, you can move over here. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, and now, Chad, let's, I do need Chad to get over here, though, so. Here, Chad, you go this way. Thaney, pick up Chad. Yes, I like this. Oh, yeah, Lot, Lot is a character that exists. Whoops. There, now Calf will be like, oh, actually, I'll go this way. And that'll be perfect. And then we can talk to her with Roy very quickly. Gonzalez can be here to move over the doorway. Perfect. Now Gonzalez says, Unga, no. So now she'll start moving to this direction. I am done. Sorry, just make make it very sure I don't drop him in a stupid place. There we go. Lance, we can keep building supports with you and Roy. I need to make sure she has at least a path open towards the treasure chests. So... Actually, I'm not sure if that's possible. Well, I'm doing what I can. <laughs> Wow, we're almost ready to promote Sister Ellen. I can't wait to recruit uh, Maria from Sound of Music. She's going to be a great unit. You ain't going to bail on us, are you, Calf? The reinforcements from the South will arrive shortly. Thanks for telling us about that. That's all, sir. That guy scares me. Yeah, he does look very creepy. Oh yeah, sleep staff. Why did why are you trying to sleep Thaney? She's got pretty good resistance. Nice dodge. Okay. Talk to Calf. And we get the Sarah music. It's you! Crap! Eh, what a coincidence! Ha ha ha! If you're in the battlefield just to steal, you shouldn't be. It's not right. Don't worry. I only take from the rich who have plenty of money. No one's going to starve or anything. That's not the point. Oh, really? Then let me ask you this. The nobles take food and money from the people living in what you call your territory. Who said that that was your land, anyway? And you say you're collecting taxes, but what you're doing is the same. Looting. <laughs> Anarchist calf here. What? But we protect the people in return. But you're not! You're killing your own people causing a war like this. Well, Burns started to invade, so we had to fight to defend our people. So you can just do anything you want as long as you say you're protecting us? That's not what he said. You can burn down villages and ruin our crops? He hasn't done that. Burned? We never! Wait a minute, was your... My village was burned to the ground by our Marquis. He said that he had no choice because he needed to prepare for Burns' attacks. Well, that's... We always had just enough to eat and survive, and then we just lost everything. Our homes, our crops. And then you say not to take from other people? Ha! You shouldn't be talking. You dastards from the nobility take up from us so you can live in luxury while we suffer. I don't know what to say. 
We're getting all gloomy now. I really don't like talking about I'm worse off so you should pity me arguments. But you're the one who started it. I... Ah, to heck with this. It's no fun stealing after a talk like that. Well, I guess I better bail out then. See ya! Are you actually gonna bail out? Or are you just gonna be, Psych! I'm taking the treasure chest! Alright. Scene, scene, scene! Here we go. Ray, what are you doing here? My thoughts exactly. What are you doing here? What happened to the orphanage? So you're concerned even though you just ran off like that? I was never concerned, you just reminded me of it. The orphanage is gone. What do you mean? Burns' troops burned it to the ground when they invaded Lysia. Father, he was... What? They killed Father? I'm going to avenge Father. I know we're stuck on these islands right now, but I know we'll go back to the mainland, stand up... To the mainland, stand up against Burns someday. That terribly worded sentence, not even a complete sentence. <laughs> Calf pred predicted Twitter mentality. <laughs> no, Calf was using, I think, a lot of straw man arguments. Like, if she was using it against an actual terrible Marquis, then sure. But she was using this against Roy, who doesn't do that, so. But yeah, she was sounding like Twitter there for a while. Well, I suppose there's no point in telling you, is there? I'll go with you. What? For real? Burn seems to be tied in with the dragons. I'm curious about them. Fine. Just don't get in the way. Yay, we get Ray! Um, I mean, his stats could be better, but they're not terrible. Hey, dark magic is... If we get if we get Luna in this, then uh, he's gonna be amazing. And Nosferatu! That, Nosferatu got seriously buffed, or nerfed in Fire Emblem 7, so it should be a lot better in this game. So I'm excited. This lord sucks, so all lords must suck. Yeah, exactly. Like, don't get me wrong, Calf definitely had a terrible Marquis. Horrible scum of the earth. But then she's like, every single noble is like that. They must all die. <laughs> I don't know what that voice there was. Okay. We need... Um, I should have been able to canto there. Alright, I want to get Chad over here to start looting those treasure chests. Uh, what turn are we on? Turn 11. Okay. We also should probably enter the boss room. Day one of breaking the wall. <laughs> it's going just great. Yeah. We're gonna get, like, maybe Trek and Chad to go down here and get these treasure chests. And then we also need them to get those treasure chests. Probably should have gotten invested in a chest key. But we got time. Okay, no Gonzalez. Don't, don't kill, don't kill her. <laughs> After her spiel, if we kill her, we'll, we'll be the absolute scum of the earth. See, she's not trying to leave. She's like, oh, my treasure. Oh, no. She's trying to cut in around the other way. It's a nerve. That's okay. We can, we can head her off. We'll keep Calf busy. Ooh, I can support Lot if I want. I'll give you to him. And, um, is there a way to check our supports? Thaney has supports with Deke. I don't think she's supported with Tate. Might as well. Yeah. Thaney, don't come out on front that often. Pegasi or Prey to Archer. Yeah, I know. And you're frail, so make sure you retreat if it gets dangerous. Uh-huh. And... Lot, you're such a worrier. I am a knight, you know. But you're still a knight in training. Well, yeah, but... Then remember that you can never be overly cautious in battle. The best way to stay alive is to always be wary. Yes, sir. Okay. 
<laughs> Are you trying to tell me something? Are you trying to tell me that Thaney has low defense and HP and therefore she's going to die very easily? Because if so, you are correct! All of that is true. I still don't trust that sniper to not move if I get in his range, even though I did it already. I know Fire Emblem 6 now. I know what kind of a jerk buddy game it is. Alright, well, let's keep tearing down this wall. We'll break it down next turn. Actually, we also could use... Actually, no. What, am, what are we doing? Shazam! I am quite the baboon, and aren't I? Now, I guarantee you there are going to be reinforcements that pop out here, so we're going in prepared. We've got Trek here. Still not sure if I want to give him Dragon Shield or not, but he'll be going up there. Rutger, you'll be going up here as well. Deke, you'll be here to give Rutger even more crazy support points. And yes, that's about the size of it. Nobody's going to be allowed to leave. I guarantee you as soon as we open that door, it's going to be... Oh boy! Five generals pop out of each staircase. They all have killer lances. Fire Rumble 6 has made me very jaded. It is true. Okay! Well, the Wyverns are going to take a long time to get here. That's still disconcerting, though, and that's a lot of Axe Fighters going this way. Yep, Calf is trying to freaking double around. Yes, mercifully, those Wyvern Riders are going to take a while to get around, but they are Wyvern Riders, so they have a huge amount of movement. So they'll get here faster than normal. But yeah, that's a, that's a long way around. Okay, Steel Axe, Hand Axe, Steel Axe, okay. Alright. Lance, we need your assistance. I wish that Thaney could fly over these walls. I really wish Thaney could fly over those walls. This would be super nice. Be super nice. All right. Ugh. I know. Well, she can fly over the roof. It's not the Tower of Babel. It doesn't reach the heavens. You can fly over it. Okay, Deke. You're a superstar, and we need your help. I need. Okay. You've got all the lances. Oh, wait, hang on. This, you have a javelin. So technically... Oh, no. Well, we can't have Gonzalez stay behind and do that, actually. Alright. That's a lot of units. That's a lot of units. Calf, you're not getting the treasure. You, you're not. Okay? I'm. It's all mine. All of it. Every last bit of the treasure's mine! Really? They managed to put Rooker to sleep. I thought you had already wasted up all your sleep, Staff. You've used up your Eclipse. I don't know why Watt, what Watt's doing down here. He ain't mounted. He ain't mounted. I'm trying to get the mother of all rescue chains going, so, like, Chad goes in here, gets the treasure chest, and then we can get, like, a, just a massive series of mounting units passing them off one after another. Plus Elf in there to play, and we can just ferry 
chat halfway across the map to get these chests as soon as possible. Yeekay! That is a lot of axe fighters coming this way. Gee. Well, I have, worst case, I have a knight's crest. I can promote if things get too dire. This guy worries me. He has a lot of speed and a lot of attack power. Ellen, I'm going to need you and your physics staff to get your butt over here. Melina, I'm going to need you to give support points to Roy. Um... Let's see. He doesn't have a lot of... We... Okay, good. He has a physics staff, though. Um, Deke, you're also going to be needed. Just worst case. Ruker? Maybe we want to take on the boss now? To avoid th more reinforcement spawns. If that's how the reinforcement spawns work. I don't know if that's how the reinforcement spawns work. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that's a lot of enemies. And we don't have very many people on this side. But the people we do have are really good! Ooh! Ouch! Wow! That's a lot of damage. Okay, here's what we do. If if he misses, or if if Lance gets hit by that guy, we in trouble, so. We're just gonna wait next to him. Gonzalez can maybe help with his hand axe. Calf, will you just leave? You said you were going to leave, and you're like, haha, nope. Lies are unbecoming. I don't even care about that silver bow guy anymore. Okay. Wait, does this guy seriously not counterattack from a distance? Dude, the Manichaeans really not have ranged attacks? Or is it just saying you don't know how much damage he's going to do? Again, I don't trust that. Ooh, I like Ray's palette. It's like a green shaman. That's really cool, actually. Oh man, and I made the good. I made a good call, actually, taking the worm slayer. How much? Ooh, that's good damage. I hate that four percent crit on Ruker, though. But he might be able to. Okay. What if we were to move Clarine in range? Ah, that's a lot better. Oh, that's a lot better. <gasps> yes. Even if he gets hit twice, we're doing it. Okay, yeah, we're doing it. Burn. Well, that was an ominous opening line, man. Bye, Ein. <laughs> what? Well, okay. Never thought I'd, uh... Never thought I'd have a Manakeet as a boss, but wow. Wow, that's a good level up, Ruger. You know, I might give the Energy Ring to Ruger. He could use it. There we go. Boss is dead. There should be no more reinforcements. Well, no, there's totally going to be more reinforcements. <laughs> Who are we kidding? It's, it's Fire Emblem 6. <laughs> the Manakeet is so... I was expecting the Manakeet to be, to be more difficult than that. I, f I fully expected him to be more difficult than that. I also locked out that I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to take the Worm Slayer. And then it's like, oh, that actually was a actually tactically a good move. I, I was more just expecting there might be Wyvern Riders coming on this level. Because they're going, oh, it's Burn needs to help us. And Burn's known for their Wyvern Riders. I didn't think we were going up against a freaking Manakee. All right, the wyverns are wyverns are coming.
Alright, Gonzalez, can you hit him? Nope, you cannot. Rats. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust that at all. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Air Caliber? Is that like Excalibur? Air Caliber. Wind that tears through wings. Hey, I'm giving that to Lelina. Hey, how about getting a critical hit? That's it. Air Caliber is the good item. Cool. Glad I got it. I was expecting, like, a promotional item. I could I could go for another Guiding Rain or another Knight's Crest. Both would be very welcome. All right, once again, still not going to attack with Lance, because if he hits twice, we die. All right. I'm at next turn. Let's see. We can rescue... Ch okay. On our next turn, we can go zoom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna have Trek waiting right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Okay, this is gonna be good. Guiding rings. This game lacks those constantly. Well, I only, I only really, really need one more because I have one. I'm gonna give it to Ellen, and I also want one for Lolina. Ideally, I'd get a third one for Clarine. I don't need to promote Clarine. I don't need to promote Clarine at all. And I guess if I end up using Ray. But I still don't know about that. I do really like Ray's color palette. I never thought I'd see like a green and purple shaman, but here we are. He looks sweet. But I don't know, he's, he's not delivering all that much. Well, hang on. Okay, that guy does have 12 res, so... Admittedly, he'd be kicking a lot more butt against physical units. <laughs> Rooker's like, I did this. Oof. Ray is a walking radioactive sign. Whatever you say. I'm worried about those wyverns. Kind of a lot. Doom, doom, doom. I want just what if Lance isn't good? Well, pff, I can promote Lance here and now, and then he'll be good enough. Yes, a lot of real. Okay. Unlock. Oh, hey, a flux tome. Out of these, Flux Tome is not really needed. Okay. Hmm. Leash! Let's get... Okay. I did look up. I did look up the side quests, because I know to get the good ending of the game, you need to get all of the side quests, and some of the side quests require you to um, beat courses really quickly. This is one of those courses, I think you need to beat it within 25 turns if you want to get the side quest and therefore the good ending. So I really need to get my rearing gear and get Chad over here so I can get those last two treasure chests and have Roy seize the throne. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Next turn, Trek will be up here. Then we can play for Elfin. Then he can boost up even further. Now we're going to position Clarine so that she can potentially take him as well. Six, seven. Yeah. You just realized Zephiel? What about Zephiel? Oh, nice one, Ray. I'm surprised you didn't miss any of those 70%, honestly. Oh, yeah, Zephiel. He's the nice prince we save him for. He's the nice prince I had to bend over backwards and reset my game so many times to save, and this is how he repays us. Not a very nice thing to do, bro. Come on, Gonzalez. Come on, Gonzalez. 
You're better than that. Come on, Lelina. Nice one. Now, if I charge Lance in there and he gets like a tuple team, will he survive? Wow, she got speed again! Oh, Lelina, you're leveling up great, sweetie. Yeah, 17, 17 magic on a mage. It's nuts. Okay. These guys all have like abysmally low hit. Okay, he can't even be attacked by all these people anyways, so... Let's get rid of the schmucks with the hand axes. Because they're a bit annoying. I'm, I got, I got faith in my man Lance. Lance is getting promoted after this. Well, I mean, he's so close to level 20, so we're gonna just let him cap out. Just in case somehow they get the squeeze in there. Now we're putting a stop to that. Here you go, Lamina. We'll top you off. <laughs> Ruker's like, I'm still here. <laughs> oh, okay. Of course. Well, if Ray dies, then Ray dies. But he shouldn't. He has Nas Faratu, so if he gets hit, he'll heal himself back. Nice one, Lance. You're doing awesome. Oh, that's that's a nice hack. Ah! I forgot how hard those guys hit. Oh no. If I lose Lance, that will be a catastrophe. I, I probably won't reset for it, but that will be bad if I lose Lance. Okay, these, the guys with the lances still have a low chance to hit, so I'll have to get really unlucky if I get killed here. Okay, no, we're fine. We're fine. Unless this guy's a silver lance. Nah. He doesn't. I remember checking their equipment. Till that was a little scary. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, well, somebody can move in there. I don't know who yet. It'll probably be Ellen, because Ellen can physic. Ellen, you have to physic up, Lance. That's perfectly fine using a physics staff for that. But I need... I need Calf to move out of the way. Man, for weapon triangle advantage, you don't do so hot against those guys. That's not bad odds, actually. Who would have thought? Who would have thought the Steel Blade would actually be good? <laughs> That's an amazing hack text box. I love it. He does enjoy all those things. Hello, Mr. Burn Wyvern Rider. Meet Lelina and her fiery glory. All right, Gonz oh, oh, oh! Can we get a KO with Gonzalez? Wait. If we do this, he'll be able to one, two, three, four. He will be able to attack Molina if we do. Mm, okay. Well, at the very least, I have to do this. Like, no question about it. I have to do this with Lance because I cannot let this guy attack Molina. Oh, oh yes, and now we can hand axe with Gonzalez. Um, let's see, 13 plus 11 is 20. Even if he gets hit by all of this, he survives. Oh, exact damage. Nice kill, Gonzalez. That's great. <laughs> Not even sure why I'm using you. <laughs> with all of my characters, where I'm like, ah, I want to use all these people, but... Okay. And we seen, seen, seen with a swing.
give you to Clarine. We attack this loser. Oh! Okay, you know what? I'm really starting... I will say this. Before I played this game, I didn't see really what all of the fuss was about Kanto. Like, seriously. People mention, like, Kanto, it's amazing, it's amazing. Like, any character who has Kanto is immediately top tier. I'm like, okay, Kanto can be nice. No. With all of these long, long hallway levels, I totally get why people love Kanto. It is very useful. I can't believe Ruker is not one-rounding things when he's promoted. <laughs> you gotta rescue Lot. Well, there's a lot to take in. Bad joke is amazing. Alright. Mm. Nah. Ray, I don't trust you to get that hit. I don't. I have literally zero faith in you. <laughs> now you get the crit, Thaney. <laughs> oh, two more axe fighters. Well, this is serendipitous, isn't it? I really hope that it said 20 turns you have to beat in to get the side quest and not... Or 25 turns and not 20 turns. I might actually want to check that. Because I think this is now turn 20. Well, if it is turn 20, we're screwed. Because... Roy can't seize this turn. So, I'm gonna assume it's 25. But you know what? I'm gonna not, I'm gonna keep this chapter save file. So, if I have to redo it, I can. I really don't want to. But it's an option. Nobody's attacking Ray on the throne. Not sure why. Oh, hey! That... <laughs> Bonk! Oh! <laughs> I knew there was a reason I weakened the wall. <laughs> His Highness Sir Trek has arrived! <laughs> I wish Sir Trek would double a little more. It's okay, though. Nice lot. I feel like Lot's not, like, an exceptional unit, but he's at least a competent unit. Sometimes that's what you need. So what turn is it? It's turn 19! Oh, okay. Calf has got to move. This is highly annoying. Calf has got to move. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to just stand on those two treasure chests so Calf will not be able to do anything. And hopefully we'll leave. Or at least move inside the room. Or alternatively... <laughs> wait. Wait, wait, wait. I have an idea. I have an idea. Calf, you can reach this treasure chest! <laughs> you can! <laughs> You're just gonna have to take a long way around, and then we can surround Calf. Because right now, she is blocking the entrance to my treasure chests. One, two, three, four, five. I don't like how Roy will be one away from seizing the throne next turn. That's a little bogus, actually. I love that these guys are just like, what do we do? What are we going to do, boss? Uh, just sit here. Pre pretend like you're working. Okay. There. Calf will totally go in for that. I can also steal her lockpick. Yeah, sitting on the staircase means that no more troops can go up it. They're like, hey, uh, Lord Arkhard called for reinforcements! Oh, there's some guy standing on the top of the stairs. Oh, we don't want to move him. Just, just leave. <laughs> I appreciate their cooperation.
Yeah, I, I knew that's what you were going to do, Calf. I knew that's what you were going to do. Doggone it! I'm one away from being able to reach that stupid treasure chest. And Elfin's not around. Part of me literally wants to murder Calf. I'm not using her, even if I can recruit her. I'm not going to use her. Wait. <laughs> I still don't trust that. At all. Not even a little. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I am extremely paranoid and for good reason. See, Ruker only crits when he doesn't have to. At least against the common enemies. That is how it be. This is turn 20, right? Yep. I'm just gonna... <laughs> gonna do a real quick look up. I am so annoyed. You have to do it within 20 turns, or else you don't get the Gaiden. And Roy can't seize this turn. <sighs> Is this just going to be a regular thing now? With Fire Emblem 6 of me always having to restart the chapters at least once. Is it really going to come to this? There's too much stuff to get. You can't have a course this big, this long, this windy, this narrow with stuff literally everywhere, and expect us to beat it in 20 turns and get everything. But of course, that's exactly what they're going to do. Part of me wants to just murder Calf out of retribution. Well, I were completing the chapter. And then off screen, I'll do it again, but this time I'll do it faster. I want to see what's in those two blasted treasure chests. If these two treasure chests have really crappy treasure, I'm going to be super annoyed. Because I literally spent all this time grabbing them. Did you take care of the cave on the outskirts? Yes, sir. We hired the bandits to block the entrance. No one will be able to get the divine weapon now. Yep. Apparently we took too long. Great! Now all we have to do is get rid of the VC Alliance army! herp a derp Oh my gosh! This is such good game design! This is- it's, it's like the equivalent of when you play on hard mode, they punish you by making you get less EXP. Like, I think on hard mode you should get more EXP, but it should actually be harder. Okay. Chad? What's in here? A blue gem. That's not great, but I guess it's okay. I might bring two thieves. No, no, seriously. I might bring two thieves when I redo this chapter. One for this side, one for this side, because both sides have good treasure. I guess this side doesn't have amazing treasure, but... Maybe I'll let Calf steal the air caliber and then kill her. I think... I see nothing wrong with that. Ah! This game, man, this freaking game! 
It is still definitely the most aggravating Fire Emblem game I've ever played. What do these guys even have? Silver Sword, Steel Sword, Steel Sword, Steel Sword. Okay, watch out for Silver Sword Hero. That's gonna be rough. Wow, the reinforcements just never freaking stop, do they? They should have given you 25 turns to do this level. Again, I'm playing on normal mode. This is not hard mode. This is freaking normal mode. And I didn't... I wasn't even so... Ooh, it was he and whip. That's, that's worth it. Okay. I wasn't even really slow on this level either. I did tons of rescue, canto, and, like, bard strats to get people ferried across this level. You can't say I was slow. This... The only reason I guess you could say I was slow is because I'm trying to get all the treasure chests, which, I mean, like, duh, why would you not? It's like, oh, you can either get the treasure chests, or you can get the good ending. It's like, why should I have to choose? Why should I have to choose? I don't want to make sacrifices in life. I want to do it all! I want it all! <laughs> Mine! <laughs> oh, Trek, your sword broke. And I didn't even notice. That's okay. Watch Trek get a really good level up that I'm going to have to undo. That's not a bad level up at all. At least it wasn't, like, really good, though. All right. Let's get out of this dump. That was close. The power of a dragon. Amazing. The dragon was the easiest part of the level. <laughs> a human not human. This is what it meant. How many more of these fiends does Burn have? How are we supposed to put up a fight against monsters like this? Master Roy! Please calm yourself. He, 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 didn't, he wasn't all that excited. Oh. I understand your worries. But if you start to panic, everyone in this army will get anxious. Please understand that. I'm sorry. No, it is perfectly understandable of a reaction after fighting something like that. You didn't do squat. Rooker did all of it. But now, we know something that we did not know before. And what is that? Do you not remember? I told you of the rumor that Arkard was tied in with Burn. Oh! If there are Burn's dragons in the Aturian capital. So Arkard was indeed taking contract with Burn. That means Alicia is in danger. We must return to the mainland. We have to contact General Cecilia and think of a plan. R report I have a message from Aturia! A rebellion has broken out at the Aturian castle city of Aquilia! What? The rebel leaders are advisor Rortz and Lord Arkard. They have captured King Mordred and they're announcing their plan to divide ownership of the world between Burn and Aturia! No! The true two strongest nations in Elib joining forces! Is General Cecilia alright? And how about Princess Guinevere? We do not have accurate information, but it seems like the free Aturian generals have split up. Sorcery General Cecilia has escaped from Aquilia and is headed for the Isle of Missol in the west. What about the other generals? They have been forced to join their rebels because King Mordred was taken hostage. Master Roy! We need to contact General Cecilia. Princess Guinevere. General Cecilia, please be safe. I don't care about that. I want my legendary weapon. No, I didn't get the legendary weapon. Oh, doggone it. Again, I think this is just going to be a fame now. Every single time I stream, I'm going to have to redo the chapter over again for one reason or another. Either I don't get the side quest or somebody dies, or I don't get all the treasure. Or if I... Ugh. I'm getting that freaking good ending, man. I'm getting the good ending. I don't care. I don't care what anyone says. I'm I'm getting the good ending. That's That's happening. Anyhow... I'll be, I guess I'll do that level again off-stream. Hopefully I can complete it before uh, Wednesday. And Wednesday's stream, hopefully we can just seize that throne again. And this time, go to the side quest. That's what I'm hoping for. Thanks for watching, everyone. This was definitely a much more fun chapter than the previous two. Well, actually, was it more Yeah, it was more fun than the previous two chapters, even though it was very long and windy. Again, if it weren't for the fact that it's like, oh, you need to do it in 20 turns, then... That would have actually been not a bad chapter. Too Again, too windy for my liking, but... Eh, what you gonna do? Anyhow. Chapter 13 is the rescue mission, apparently. Well, we won't be doing that for at least a week. Because next time we have a, we have a side quest to unlock. Thank you all for joining in. 
It was great chatting with people tonight. It was great playing this. I will be continuing this on Wednesday, same time, 8 p.m. EST. Hope to see you guys there. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless. Take care, everybody.